Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you passive listening in Reaper. Now the concept of passive listening is to listen to your track or your mix when you're close to finished, but you don't really want to completely fully pay attention. You just want to hear it in the background, in other words, passively. Now, I usually do this by walking out of the room and then hearing it around a door or a wall. But another way we could do it is just by filtering and affecting our mix in such a way that we're not concentrating on the details. We're just hearing it in the background and again, passively, not fully paying attention, but still hearing it and maybe picking up a few different things we didn't hear while we're mixing it. So I have a track in front of me here, and I'm just about finished mixing it. So I want to hear it passively to make any last minute changes. So let's hear what it sounds like now. So while working on the mix, it sounds pretty good to me, but I want to change it up so we're not paying attention to the details quite as much. And we'll do this by going up here to the view menu and choosing monitoring effects. So we just want to change the monitoring, which is not going to affect the actual mix. It won't be printed during a render. We're just hearing it on our speakers. Now, if you're already using the monitoring effects chain for a different use, we could add these effects before or after them, but I'm not using any at all, so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna start off with an EQ. I'll type in EQ in the filter, and we're gonna choose the re-EQ, because it comes with Reaper, so I know you have it. Double click it, and it looks like this. Let's remove all the bands except for one, and we'll change it to a high pass filter, which is gonna roll off the low end, making the mix sound thinner. I'm gonna hold down the shift key to remove the peaky filter so it'll look like this. So now we can filter out the low end with this. Again, we're trying to remove the detail and make our speakers sound a bit cheaper like a transistor radio or even a phone speaker. Let's hear it. That's a bit too much. Let's bring it down a bit. It just removes most of the low end so our mix doesn't sound as big. Especially for me, with a subwoofer, I'm not hearing all those lows. Now let's do the same with the highs. We'll add another band, and this time we'll choose a low pass filter. And again, hold down shift to remove the peaky filter like this, and we'll remove the top end. Again, that's too much. I just want to remove the upper air so it doesn't sound as pretty and not as detailed as before. Bypass. Right about there feels good. It's more filtered and not quite as detailed. So we're not going to pay attention to those frequencies as actively. Now I want to adjust the pan. I want to bring it in a bit so it's not so stereo and a bit more mono. So let's add another plugin by double clicking. And I'm going to search stereo and choose the stereo field manipulator. Double click it. And that adds it after the EQ. 
And right over here, we can adjust the width. We're not going to touch the rotate, center, or left, right, just the width. Bring it all the way down. Our mix is mono. That's a bit too much. Let's bring it up about halfway. So the mix sounds a bit more mono. Before and after. And then finally, I'm going to add a reverb to make it sound more ambient, like it's playing back from a distant room. Double click, search verb, and we'll use the Reverbate plugin. Again, it's a reverb plugin that comes with Reaper. So I know you have it. Double click it, bring up the dry, and slowly bring up the wet. Before and after. Now to compare this whole chain, we can go up here to the Actions menu, Show Action List, and choosing the filter Monitor. And we can choose the monitoring effects to toggle bypass. So before, it sounds like this. And after, it sounds like this. It's quite a bit different, but it'll distract us, so we're not paying attention to the detail. So now, we should listen back to the whole song while doing something else, taking our mind off it completely but still thinking about it and seeing if anything jumps out. You can check your email, browse the web, or what I like to do is play a video game that distracts my mind, like this one. Then after it's done, we could bypass it over here or leave it on and just delete the plugins. But before we do that, I like to save this as an effects chain. Right click, go to effects chains, save all effects as chain, give it a name and save it. Then we could delete all these plugins and we're not going to hear them anymore. We can go back to mixing. And if we're working with a different project, we just go back here and right click, go to effects chains, go to effects as chain, and just choose it right here. And it loads back up, and we can use the chain in that project. Oh, 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 hold up, baby, don't... Let's delete them. Now, if we noticed anything we didn't like about the mix, we can then adjust it now. With the monitoring effects turned off. Oh, 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 hold up, baby, don't take it. But we had a different perspective on our mix of how it might sound on a cheap speaker, transistor radio, or phone, or any lo fi system. But by listening to it without fully paying attention, we could notice things we wouldn't notice otherwise. So it's a great way to finish your mix. To hear it back passively, without fully paying attention. So that's pretty much it. 
That's passive listening in Reaper. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys. Let's go. Oh!